guys, today we're doing uh, the Fall Food Friday, and it's going to be pumpkin sausage soup, and this recipe comes from Taste of Home. Okay, and what I've got going is I've got one pound of uh, bulk Italian sausage, I've got two cups of mushrooms sliced, and I have a onion uh, diced. And I've just been uh, around that and cooking up the vegetables. It's about done. It says to uh, drain it once you've got it done. But mine actually did not produce any fat. So mine doesn't actually need to be drained. So let's see. And this is over medium high heat when about 8 to 10 minutes or just until you know your sausage is cooked through and no longer pink and your vegetables are tender. And then what we're going to do next, it calls for four cloves of garlic minced. You know me and my already minced garlic. Just throw a little in there. It's about like four uh, cloves. A little more, a little less, whatever you like. Okay, and then we're just going to let this uh, cook for a minute longer. Okay, let me get my can of pumpkin puree opened up here. And this is going to call for one carton of chicken stock or 32 ounces. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with my uh, homemade. Need, so I need four cups of that. Just about enough. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add this on the end. And it calls for a 15 ounce of uh, pumpkin puree. I have the big, big 29 ounce. So I'll put about half of this in. And splash it as I go. And you know what I always say? Buy in bulk. It's cheaper. And if it's something that you can freeze, why not? Okay. Let's see. And then here, I went ahead and uh, got this already since there were so many. It's one tablespoon of sugar, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, Two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of turmeric, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a quarter to a half teaspoon of nutmeg. I use just under a half a teaspoon. So we'll go ahead and add all of that in there. Okay, and so we're just going to bring this, go ahead and stir this up and bring it to a bowl. And so then what we're going to do while we're waiting for that to come to a bowl is we will go ahead and grate our cheese. Because we are going to need, let's see, two cups of smoked cheddar. So let's get that going.
And I have this apple smoked cheddar cheese here. Oh, isn't it frustrating when things don't want to open properly for you? There we go. Just a little stir real quick. She's great in here. And like I said, this calls for two cups. This is an eight ounce block, which should be right at about two cups. So we'll just grate it all. Because it can't be too cheesy, can it? <laughs> Even if it is a little more than two cups, that's okay. Not a problem. I think this actually might be more than two cups. You know what? I think I will stop there. Because this particular cheese, I can use it later in another recipe. Like for uh, my... Uh, so so cheesy macaroni and cheese or it's great stuffed in a burger like if you stuff your burger with cheese that is very good in there got another little stir it's not quite boiling yet okay let's check the next step though of what we're gonna do When this does come to a heat, what we're or a bowl, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce the heat to about medium, and then we'll cover it and simmer it for ten minutes. So. Almost starting to come to a bowl. It looks like it sounds like it, but no bubbles yet. What do they always say? A watched pot never boils. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's coming to a bowl. So I will just get my lid here. Put that on. And I'm going to reduce this down to medium. Check the time so we can do 10 minutes. And then while we're uh, waiting on that, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get a third of a cup of water and mix it with a third of a cup of cornstarch. And since we know I don't like doing dishes, we're just going to use the same cup that we have the chicken broth in. Get the third measuring cup. almost a third of a cup and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stir this until it's smooth we're gonna use this to thicken the soup Right, 
I got that mixed pretty good. So I'd like to take a moment here and just go ahead and thank Fallon Moss from Moss Family TV for going ahead and uh, uh, offering for people to submit their videos for her Fall Food Friday and allowing us the opportunity, uh, people like myself who are uh, new to YouTube, to be able to promote our videos and uh, get seen by other people and uh, build our channel. That is very uh, nice of Fallon, and I'm sure my, uh, other than myself, everybody else is grateful for her too. We do appreciate her. She is a great lady. I mean, I just want to thank her. So, we still got about seven minutes. <laughs> it's only been three minutes. I feel like those people, oh, have you ever watched the Next Food Network star and the people they're trying out uh, to get a, a Food Network uh, uh, a show of their own and they either have trouble with the cooking, but most of them have, uh, on, uh, while they're being filmed, but most of them have trouble talking and keeping the audience engaged. Well... That's kind of what I'm having problems doing is uh, talking. I just don't know what all to share and what to say. So, but I do uh, want to thank everyone who has uh, subscribed to my channel. And uh, thank everyone who watches the videos. And if you do like the uh, videos and the content that you see on my channel, please go ahead and like the video. Give me a thumbs up. Share the video uh, on uh, social media. And uh, if you're not already subscribed and you're seeing this for the first time, or if you've seen other videos on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I do appreciate uh, uh, all uh, subscribers, and I'm uh, glad to be able to get to know you. And leave a comment uh, below. Uh, I don't always sub uh, comment back, because, uh, like I say, I don't always know what to say. I'm not a very, especially even in person, talkative person. Unless I just really know you, then I'll do a lot of talking. So it's uh, been a little hard for me to respond back to comments, but I do appreciate all comments that you share. And I am so glad that I have not had any trolls leave bad comments. All the comments that you all have made have been very nice and uh uh, even just they're very nice <laughs> so I do appreciate it <laughs> so let's see let me think what can I share about myself like I say y'all know I love to cook obviously but I hate to wash the dishes it's just something I have to do, because <laughs> uh, being a single person or uh, with no children, I can't say, kid, get in there and do the dishes. <laughs> so I do have to do those myself. Not always funnest uh, chore to do. Uh, uh, most people, they say they don't like doing, it's either laundry or dishes. I don't mind laundry because, like I said, it's just myself, so don't have that much to do. <laughs> so, I do, I am a cat person. I have cats. If you've uh, watched other videos, you've heard one of my cats uh, meowing in the background. If you, uh, sometimes she do, does that if I'm not paying attention to her and she thinks I need to pay attention to her instead of filming these videos. So, let's see. We got about four more minutes. I'm going to go ahead and give it a stir. Let me put y'all down so I can do that. Woo! It smells really good. So, I'm excited to be able to try this. 
I, uh, whenever I was, uh, looking for recipes to, uh, uh, put on, uh, for the Fall Food Friday, I come across this one. It was, like, one of the first ones. I was like, that sounds really good. Uh, because I'm not, like, one to, like, cook with pumpkin. I don't even like pumpkin pie. Well, I've actually only had it once. And I don't know if it was store-bought or homemade, so that might have been the issue, depending upon who made it. But I have uh, had other pumpkin, uh, one other pumpkin recipe, and I did really enjoy that. So I thought, well, hey, let me give this one a try. So, just got about two more minutes. So... And I'm just uh, really f looking forward, like I said, to get to knowing uh, people in the comments. And uh, I will uh, begin to uh, co uh, comment back when you leave uh, comments. Like I said, it's just a matter of me getting used to the these things and uh, getting to know you as well as you getting to know me. So... All right, let's go ahead and give this a stir and make sure everything's not stuck to the bottom. And we will go ahead and add this in. going to allow this to thicken. It's actually already starting to uh, thicken. Check the recipe. I was prepared today. I wrote this down and I had most of the ingredients ready. I did leave the cheese though that way I could have something to do while I was waiting for it to boil because I know I can't talk, do that much talking. Oh, and we were supposed to put in the cream, too. Calls for a half a cup of cream. Let's go. Let's go stir. This cooks for one to two minutes. Put another minute or so. I'm gonna get a big spoon. All right. So now we're just gonna go ahead and add in our cheese. Gonna put in a little, get a handful, mix that around, put in another handful, give it a mix. And add the rest of it in here. this around, let it get all melted. Guys, I'm telling you, this looks delicious. I am just going to go grab a bowl. Make sure it's all melted. And 
Turn that off. Just spill some up here. Wipe off the side of the bowl. That spoon here. <laughs> Gonna take a little taste. You know, for the trolls off the camera. Gotta blow it. It's really hot. That is really good, and this actually did not call for any salt, but I am going to go ahead and put a little salt in. I think it could use just a little bit. Put some in my bowl. Give that a stir. Give that a stir. And here we have it, folks. There's a good shot. Sausage pumpkin soup, courtesy of Taste of Home. And like I said, if you like the, uh, this recipe, you can go to Taste of Home, or you can just Google sausage pumpkin soup, Taste of Home. It will pull it right up. If you didn't get all the uh, uh, ingredients from uh, the beginning, and if you like this video like this recipe go ahead and give it a thumbs up like and subscribe thanks you guys have a great day bye